bootstrap so this is the official website getbootstrap.com and here we have the documentation we have some examples we have icons themes and the blog we are using the version 5.3.x but you can see the previous versions the version for example 5.2.3 5.1.3 and all the previous versions you can click here all versions and you can check out the previous versions we also can choose the, the theme we can choose it light for example so it's gonna be white I'm gonna stick with dark you can also choose auto so bootstrap build fast responsive sites with bootstrap powerful extensible and feature pack frontline toolkit Built and customized with SaaS, utilize pre-built grid system and components, and bring projects to life with powerful JavaScript plugins. And there are two choices you can, if you have Node.js installed, you can just use, you can install it with the uh, npm manager. Uh, npm install bootstrap at 5.3.0 hyphen alpha 2, or you can use the the CDN, the content delivery network and we're gonna check out that in a, in a little while so this is the get started with bootstrap so get it started any way you want jump right into building with bootstrap use the cdm that is the content delivery network install it via packet manager or download the source code so as you can see we have two choices install via the package manager so you have to install node.js first or you can use also the include via cdm the content delivery network so we're going to check this one first install bootstrap source sas and javascript files via npm ruby games composer emirior package manage installs don't include documentation or our full build scripts you can also use any demo from our examples repo to weekly jump start bootstrap projects so and assuming that you already have node.js installed you just have to type in npm install bootstrap and the version that you want to install so it's going to be add and the version is going to be 5.3.0 hyphen alpha 2 and then we have the the gem install bootstrap space hyphen v 5.3.0 hyphen alpha 2 read the, all the documentation if you want you have this link but we're going to be using the include via cdm and cdm stands for the content delivery network when you only need to include bootstraps compile css or javascript you can use the js deliver see it in action with our symbol quick start or browse the examples to jump start your next project you can also choose to include a popper in our js separately so we're gonna have two choices here we're gonna have the link element with the href attribute so we already see, we already saw this from html and then we're gonna have this url inside of the double quote that is gonna be the http s colon double hyphen cdn that js deliver that net hyphen npn hyphen uh, bootstrap add and the the version in this case is 5.3.0 hyphen alpha 2 slash this slash css slash bootstrap that mem that css and we close the double quotes and then we're gonna have the rel attribute that is gonna be a style sheet and the same well the same procedure is gonna go for the javascript but we're gonna have instead of link element we're gonna have the script with the source and the source attribute is gonna be this url as you can see here uh, once we finish with this url we're gonna have the cross origin attribute that is gonna be anonymous and we're gonna end the script tag so what else do we have here read our getting started guide get a jump on included boot bootstrap sources files and a new project with our official guide so we have the web pack we have the uh, parcel invite custom everything with sas bootstrap utilizes sas for a modular and customizable architecture import only the components you need enable global options like gradients and shadows and write your css with our variable maps functions and mixings 
so you can click the link and learn more and what else we have include all the bootstrap sas include what you need so import one style sheet and you're off to to the races with every feature on our css so you have the variable override first and you have this example this is just a general overview we're just gonna focus right now and well general example but this is gonna be for further uh, videos the okay the easiest way to customize bootstrap include only the css you need so here we have the functions first so it's gonna be the add import and then inside the double quotes we're gonna have um, the modules bootstrap so forth we're gonna have variable override second require bootstrap imports and optional components so we are gonna see what we have built and extend in real time with CSS variables. So we are gonna see uh, the documentation first, and then we're gonna go back to the build and extend in real time with CSS variables. And if you click, if you click docs documentation, we're gonna go get it started with Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a powerful feature pack front end tool kit build anything from prototype to production and minutes so here's the quick start get it started by including bootstraps production ready css and javascript via the cdm the content delivery network without the need for any build steps see it and practice with the bootstrap cope and demo so this is the the demo that they're giving us so we're gonna go to visual studio code and we're gonna create a file named index.html like this and I'm just gonna type shift exclamation mark to have a template to work with. And okay, so it's very important that we have the exclamation mark doc type HTML. This is HTML5, the one that we have already here. And what else do we have here? So the first step, create a new index.html file. So we already did that. And your project root include the meta okay the meta element with the name attribute viewport that as well for proper responsive behavior in mobile devices and we did that and when when we press the shift exclamation mark it creates this template for us but we have the meta, the meta element and here in line six we have the the name attribute that is going to be the viewport we have the counting attribute that is going to be the width device width and initial scale that is going to be set to 1.0 so you can check it out in mobile devices tablets smartphones so what do we have here the title is going to be bootstrap demo so the title let's change it let's go for okay boot okay okay bootstrap bootstrap like this we're gonna save it uh, and we're gonna have inside of the body we're just gonna have an h1 that is gonna be hello world inside of the body we're gonna have an h1 and let's go for hello hello youtube hello youtube what's up so we're gonna save it we're gonna press all plus l plus o okay so we have it here or you can just go to your index.html, right click and open with live server. So as you can see it's all plus L, all plus O. So you just keep press the the all key and just press L plus O. So that is what we have up to this point. And what else do we have? So we have the H1, we have the title, we have the meta element with the name attribute, the counting attribute, char set is set to it utf-8 so that is what we have here uh, okay so that is for number one step two include bootstrap css and javascript place the link tag in the head for our css and the script tag for our javascript bundle including popper for positioning drop downs popper and tool tips before the closing body the closing body tag there are more about the C CDN link, so you can check out this link if you want. And we are gonna grab this. We're gonna grab this URL. What else do we have here? We are gonna grab this URL here. Let's grab it. 
as you can see is gonna be below the title and it's gonna be here inside of the head section and it's gonna be below title and as I'm just grabbing the the link element with the href attribute and the href href attribute is gonna be this URL https colon double forward slash cdm and all this URL up to this that CSS as you can see here that is inside of the double quotes then we're gonna have the rel attribute that is gonna be a style sheet we're gonna have the integrity attribute that is gonna be uh, this these words that is that are inside of this double quotes okay let me see let me check it out this one and finally we're gonna have the cross origin attribute that is gonna be set to anonymous so that is the the link element now below the hello uh, the heading one that is the hello youtube in our case we're gonna have the the javascript link so we're gonna go in line 14 and in line 14 we're gonna have this script element with the source attribute and inside of the double quotes we're gonna have this URL that is gonna be the HTTP colon double forward slash CDN that JS deliver that net uh, slash npm slash bootstrap at and uh, this is gonna be the version that you want in our case in this case it's gonna be 5.3.0 hyphen alpha 2 slash d slash javascript or js slash bootstrap that bundle that mean that js so this is you know it's important because it ends in that js so we know it's javascript so it has to be inside of the script element in line 9 we have this uh, href that ends at um, that css that is the reason that we don't have here the script element we have the link element so that is the difference with css here in javascript and here in line 14 let's mark it in line 14 we're also inside of the script element we're gonna we're gonna have the integrity attribute and it's gonna be equal sign double quotes inside of the double quotes we're gonna have this okay so we're gonna have this information here so you just copy paste it or you can just type it and then we're gonna have the cross origin attribute that is gonna be set to anonymous and finally we're gonna end the script tag so that is that what else yeah we have everything here so we're gonna save it and let's open it okay as you can see it has changed so now we're using bootstrap and now we're for our for our website right now it just we only have the hello youtube but for example let me see if we let me see i think i have demo uh let me see if inside of the body let's check out let's put some more information uh i have this from the previous video let's just since this is inside of the body let's just copy and paste it real quick uh, let me see so i'm gonna save it and now we're using bootstrap for this website well it's not changing that much you can see that the the font is changing a little bit but that so we're gonna move that and just we're gonna leave it as it is but yeah the important thing is to lines 9 and lines 14 so we are using the link element with the href attribute to connect the to connect the cdm of the bootstrap via cdm in this case if if we don't want to do that via cdm we will have to go to our terminal in my case i'm using the incorporated terminal and we will have to go let me see we will have to go and just and just use the npm install so you you have to type here uh, npm, in, npm install bootstrap add and then the version that you want and make sure that you have uh, node.js installed on your computer so but we're using the include via cdm and 
you can just copy it from here so you can go to the website to the official website that is the getbootstrap.com and you just copy it from here and as you can see this one you know it's going to be for the css because it's the link element and this is start at that css and this is going to be the javascript because it ends at that js and it's going to be the script element so what else do we have here you can also include a uh, popper in our js separately if you want if you don't plan to use drop down uh, pop over so tool tip save some kilobytes by not including popper so you can include those if you want so this is the the website hello world in our case is hello youtube so now you can start building with bootstrap by creating your own layout adding dozens of components and utilizing our official examples so as you can see we have the C cdn links a reference here you here are our primary cdn links so we have the description and the scala that is going to be the css and the url and um, this is the url for the css and for the javascript for the js this is the this is the ur the url okay so you can also use the cdn to fetch any of uh, of our additional build uh, list in the contents page you have the next steps you have the js components important globals html5 duct type as i was mentioning before this important html5 duct type bootstrap requires the use of the html5 duct type without it you will see some funky and incomplete styling so make sure that you have the inside of the dowel well, inside of the angle brackets we have exclamation mark duct type html as you can see here so we have the html5 so now we have the viewport we already saw this in html we have the meta the, the meta element the name attribute the content attribute then we have the box sizing we have the reboot the community so that is that and that's the example that we saw so let's go back to the build and extend in real time with css variable so bootstrap 5 is evolving with each release to better utilize css variables for global theme styles individual components and even utilities we provide dozens of variables for colors font styles and more at a, a root level for use anywhere on components and utilities css variables are scoped to the relevant class and can easily be modified so you can check click this link click this link to read more about it so using css variables as you can see we have to use any of our global root variables to write new styles css variables use the var so inside the parentheses we have the double hyphen bs hyphen variable name syntax and can be inherited by children elements so as you can see this is css that component curly braces and you have uh, this stuff color background border then you have the component the component hyphen header you have the customers customizing via the css variables override global component uh, or utility class variables to customize bootstrap just how you like no need to redeclare each rule just a new variable value so you have the body and then that table okay so again this is just a general overview so here we have the components media utility api new and bootstrap 5 our utilities are now generated but by our utility api we built we built it as a feature pack sas map that can be quickly and easily customized it's never been easier to add remove or modify any utility classes make utilities responsive add pseudo class variants and give them custom names so here we have quickly customized components so you can see this is html you have the home the profile the contact you have this so we also have create and extend utilities and we're gonna see this in future videos the add import and then inside of the dowel goes we're gonna have in this case for example is bootstrap slash css uh, s css slash bootstrap so we have those pieces of code so you can check out these links if you wanna read more about it you have powerful javascript plugins without jquery and what else do we have okay so add taggable hidden elements uh, models and off canvas menus 
popovers and tool tips and so much more all without jQuery bootstraps JavaScript HTML first meaning most plugins are added with data attributes and your HTML need more control include individual plugins pro programmatically so you can check out this we have the data attribute API so you have this piece of code we have also the comprehensive set of plugins bootstrap features a dozen plugins that you can drop into any project drop them and all at once or choose just the ones you need so you have the alert the button the carousel the collapse drop down model of canvas pop over a scroll a scroll spice tap those tool tip and we're gonna see this in the examples in a little bit in a little bit so we're gonna have the personalize it with bootstrap icons so you have bootstrap icons it's an open source SVG icon library featuring over 1,800 uh, glyphs with more added every release they are designed to work in any project whether you use bootstrap itself or not use them as SVGs or icon fonts both options give you vector scaling and easy customization via CSS now we have make it yours official bootstrap themes and that's pretty much it so here we have the links that is going to be the home the documents examples icons themes blog we have the guides getting started start a template we have the projects and the community so now if we go into icons you can install it with npm install bootstrap hyphen icons if you want so it's gonna be free high quality open source icon library with over 1800 icons including any way you like and it's gonna be svgs svg sprite or web fonts use them with or without bootstrap in any project what else do we have we have themes and it's gonna send you to things that get bootstrap.com so you can check out if you want if you want so we have the blog also and you have information you have the old posts archives videos and subscribe so you have some information about the current version bootstrap 5.3.0 hyphen alpha 2 you have the css variables the current modes typography components helpers utilities documentation known issues and you also have the some information about previous uh, versions so right now we're gonna go into examples finally this is gonna be the final part of this video so now we're gonna go examples quickly get a project started with any of our examples ranging from using parts of the framework to custom components and layouts so we can click and download examples I'm just gonna download it and let me see I'm just gonna open it and okay it's gonna be in downloads I'm gonna go inside let me see it's gonna be in download it's gonna be bootstrap I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut it with Control X and I'm gonna go into my programming file I'm gonna paste it here so I'm gonna be pasted in here okay okay so now I'm gonna open it with I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go open in terminal and now I'm just gonna press or I'm just gonna type code space that and this is gonna open it in Visual Studio Code so I'm gonna close this previous one so now I open it in Visual Studio Code if you press Control tilde you have now our incorporated terminal so I am in my folder program js and now this folder is named bootstrap hyphen 5.3.0 hyphen alpha hyphen example so we can pick the carousel for example we can pick the HTML file and we can just press all plus L plus O so we can open it let's see how okay as you can see we can see it for now carousel home link disabled so you have the search and this is an example but as you can see it looks clean nice and clean you have the example headline sign up today we have some headings here some view details what else do we have so first feature heading it's it'll blow your mind 
and as you can see wood strap makes it very very beautiful very okay so i'm gonna close this very organized so that is that you can download it to your computer you can have those files and you can start reading this for the studies you have functional examples of using bootstrap and common js frameworks like webpack parcel byte and more you can edit in stack blitz so you can you have the cdn starter you have the sas in javascript sas in esm javascript webpack a uh, parcel a byte bootstrap icons you have snippets as you can see you have a bunch of information and we are just going uh, this is a, just a general overview that's the reason I'm going quick so this is the rtl see the bootstraps rtl version in action with these modified customs component examples and yeah you can start reading more about it but as you can see you have the the official website you have the documentation you have the get started with bootstrap you have the downloads the content you have all this information you have the examples if you want to uh, install the icons and you would do that with first of all you have to have Node.js but you have to install it with npm install bootstrap hyphen icons and what else do we have here you have the themes the blog and yeah we have two choices install it you can install it with with the npm install bootstrap add and then the version that you want or we can use the include via cdm the content delivery network and i always use the content delivery network so we're always going to be using the link href and then the the link element and the href attribute and as you can see we're going to have this this attribute here so you can just copy and paste it every time you have the rel the integrity and also we're going to have the script element with the source attribute so this is when you do it via the cdm and yeah this is a general overview and you can check out this official website for the get started with bootstrap